This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. One of the things that I have been saying often during this time that I said in our update yesterday that took forever to post, and I'm sure that I will say in many services between now and whenever we go back into our building, is that the church is the people, not the building that we're in. But the question arises often then, what does that mean for our day-to-day -day lives? Because some things work at home just fine. Spiritual practices work at home just fine. You can pray or meditate on a chair. We can gather as a community on Zoom, on YouTube. There are a lot of ways to feed our own souls. And we know that, that faith is not just about us, though. We know that one of the fundamental mistakes that religion in America makes is when it's primarily about the individual. Unitarian Universalism knows that we are part of an interconnected whole, and we are about the work of justice, building the promised land that can be. George Floyd's death in Minneapolis this weekend is horrific, and it reminds us, all of us, that despite so much time and attention going to the pandemic, the work of dismantling systems of oppression is still vital, needed work. White supremacy in its many forms has not simply taken 2020 off while we fight a virus. Black lives matter, and the systems that say otherwise have not simply hit a pause button until there's a COVID-19 vaccine. I know it's a lot. I know we are all struggling, and I know the urge to retreat into places and mindsets of comfort is strong right now. It's a defense mechanism, and it's a rational one. But it cannot be the only response. At our church, we have a task force working on racial justice, meeting right now, this week. And we're working as a community on how to turn our justice work from in-person to online, because there is much to do. So one of the things you can do right now is to educate yourself on issues of white supremacy, on justice making, and organizing. If you're able to, sign up for General Assembly June 25th through 28th. And get ready, because our work does not pause right now. The work of building a promised land that can be, of bending the moral arc of the universe, does not pause because we are physically isolating. If anything, it is more important now than it has ever been. See you tomorrow.